it has a, a decent a little sound to it give you guys a couple revs here it's back it's back baby the 1100 is back all fixed up What's going on guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a good month um i've had ups and downs this month and good and bad uh but me being the person i am i know the ups are gonna outweigh the bad and i'm just gonna keep pushing forward but i am here as you can see at rick roush motorsports uh, i got the ramp saw set up right here as you can see no bike is on the back of the truck which means we are picking up uh, the CBR from Rick Roush. They called me today while I was at work and told me that the bike would be ready uh, by the time I got here and it is now 4.30. So picking up the bike here today, uh, I just load mine in the grass because the ramps are easier to load up the bike in the grass because they stick down into the grass rather than on the asphalt and give them a chance to slip. So that's a safety tip for you guys if you're loading up on the back of your truck uh, make sure you try to find a nice flat even though this isn't really flat right there I just got to get the bike over this little hill and I basically decreased the incline of uh, The ramps so that I can load the bike up easier onto the ramps And I said that in the previous video as well But I just want to say it again right here. This so all you guys know how I load up uh, the bikes onto the back of my pickup truck but this is the video of why I want to or what I'm going to explain of why I had Rick Roush put on the new set of fairings uh, as I said I could have done them myself uh, if you are new to the channel make sure you go back about maybe 20 videos uh, to figure out what where this all started with this CBR right after I bought it literally three weeks after I bought this bike the right side fairing uh, just blew off on the highway on me um, yeah just blew off uh, so if you haven't seen that video if you're new to the channel make sure you go back into uh, my playlist and watch all those videos to catch you up to speed on what's going on ever since I bought this dog on bike from Rick Roush but finally I hope and fingers crossed that we finally got this bike fully together and nothing more happens uh, because if something else happens to this bike I'm, at this point I'm bringing it back up here and saying what are you guys gonna buy it back from me for like or give me a price and hopefully it's around the eight grand mark and if they say eight grand they're getting this bike back because i'm sick of dealing with it um that's why i've named it like i said in the previous one of the previous videos i named this bike bittersweet i've never named a bike before in my entire life my whole life of me riding bikes i've never named a bike ever but this bike is so many ups and downs with this bike and i've only had it i haven't even had this bike a year yet i've had this bike since january yeah and all this stuff has been going on uh and it was still winter time at that point uh as you guys saw in how i got the cbr home that was a snow pretty much a snowstorm coming that um i rode the bike home in the day i bought it or the day after i bought it because uh, the day I bought it, they said they were going to keep it and look over the bike, which was kind of ticked me off even more that all that stuff has happened uh, since I bought this bike because they said they looked over everything. But I'm not going to get into the like the blaming thing or anything like that because I had a conversation with their manager and everything like that here, Scott, and he's really took care of me. So I can't say anything really bad about them or Rick Roush or anything like that. They did give me 
correct customer service every time I brought the bike back up here to explain an issue and the whole fairing thing and they as I said in the previous videos they did go half on me with the fairings but speaking of the fairings well this whole video is about why I had them do it I had them put the fairings on just so that I could get a receipt back from them that's the whole issue um, that's the whole thing. I wanted a receipt back from them saying that they installed the fairings this time um, So that if this were just so happened happened again uh, But like I said if it happens again, I'm bringing this bike up here and saying what cash can you give me for it? But if it was to so happen again, I could have that receipt in hand saying hey you guys put the fairings on this bike They were brand new fairings and something stupid like that happened again and here's the bike and whatever piece is missing or blah 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 whatever flies off hope it doesn't but if it does I, I, I have that kind of cushion to say that here and then have the receipt and say here you guys installed the fairings take the bike back here's the receipt I got the fairings installed by you guys one of your guys put it on and stuff started flying out or bolts started coming loose and pieces started flying off again so here's the receipt here's the bike what can you give me for it that's the whole issue of why I wanted them to put the fairings on I could have done it myself yes but then if something or that same issue happened again I couldn't come back here and say hey uh, the fairings blew off again can you guys go half on me or half on the fairings again with me there they they could possibly be like no because they weren't really supposed to do that in the first place because I did buy the bike as is used um, so if I were to put the whole fairing kit on myself and something else stupid like that happened again I couldn't come back up here and say hey uh, my fairing blew off again they would say maybe you didn't screw all the bolts down correctly or you didn't put everything on correctly so that's the issue that's exactly why I had them yeah it was a little bit of money extra uh, to on top of my half of the payment of the fairings themselves the whole kit um, for the labor of them putting the fairings on but it's that whole issue where I can now I'm now about to go in there and get a receipt and pay and get a receipt from them and with the, the labor on there saying they installed the fairings and if it happens again I got my receipt got my proof so that's it guys uh the next video will probably be in a couple uh seconds right here 30 seconds of me going inside um paying uh, uh my labor fee that i owe them for putting the fairings on and then i hope it's the right uh set of fairings because i still haven't seen them like this is my first time being back up here uh when they told me the bike is ready i still didn't even see the new fairing kit that they got so I hope it's the exact same kit that I had on the bike because as you guys know in the previous videos if you've subscribed to the channel and watched those videos that um, the fairings I just so happen to have the rarest um, CBR uh, Repsol bike that has the rarest fairings on it that you can't find anywhere because Honda doesn't even make them here in Ohio so I had to get them shipped from out of state um, so I hope they're the exact fairings and hope they found the exact fairings for me scott said that they did uh if not i hope it's something very similar um but i guess i can only say it is what it is if they're not the exact ones i had on there before because uh, again at this point uh, maybe if it was none of those other things happened maybe i'd be all right with it but again it is what it is but that's it guys i don't want to bore you too much with going on and on um, get in here get the bike um, get it all loaded up in the back of the truck and I'll probably see you guys in the next video of me saying I uh, got the CBR back so thank you guys for watching appreciate it make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one peace Have you ever felt are you listening damn uh -huh.